Benidorm Seriously. Need to find out what's happening in Benidorm? Then you need to visit BenidormSeriously.com. We provide in-depth information on every aspect of Benidorm and the surrounding areas, including our comprehensive What's On and Business Guides. We can even find you the best places to stay with our accommodation search facility. So be in the know and visit BenidormSeriously.com. What happens in Benidorm happens on Benidorm Seriously. how it's been the mood it's been a while i hope everyone's great everyone had fun on the first of may because we had bank holiday and that everyone enjoyed the weekend is the first welcome home show after current after charles king charles third coronation and no offense but it feels actually the same um anyway how are you alejandro good afternoon i'm great thank you very much how are you <laughs> I'm great. I'm doing good. I'm I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be to to be back in in Next FM. Uh, thank you for being back again in yes in Welcome Home in our weekly English show. And before we go into detail, before we go in depth with the the topic that we're going to talk about today, mm -hmm. uh, let's set some background about you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think you've come to Welcome Home a couple of times. Yep. But but again. Who are you actually? <laughs> Why are you here? But anyway, thank you for coming. So what can you tell us about you? Well, I'm here because I love being here with you. Yeah. <laughs> that's the reason. That's yeah, all. that's basically the, the reason. Just an excuse to be here with her. Uh, I love to come here. You know that. Uh, and I will be here every week. So I'm, I, I love it. And uh, well, I'm a doctor in integrative medicine, natural medicine doctor as well. And I'm uh, well, a physician focused on diabetes type 2 and other chronic diseases like well, overweight, obesity, uh, chronic high blood sugar levels, chronic uh, hypertension, chronic high levels of cholesterol, etc. I usually deal with chronic diseases that can be not just prevented, but most of them reversed. And that's what I love to do, just taking a client and reverse their diabetes, their high levels of cholesterol after many years taking medications. And that's basically my, my expertise. Is your expertise in a challenge? Because actually um, making sure or guarantee that someone can reverse or reduce a type of uh, chronic disease is like mm -hmm. a, a risk to say that, right? Like well, I mean, uh, I cannot guarantee anything. At the end, I cannot eat for anyone. I cannot walk mm -hmm. for people. I cannot do anything for anyone. I mean, at the end, people, humans in general, we want easy things, right? But easy things come with higher price. What I mean? Oh, you can just do something about it. You can walk a little bit more. You can be less sedentary. You need to eat a little bit healthier. And, or you can take this pill. This is usually the, the, what people perceive. It's like, oh, OK, give me I the pill. I take the pill. Yeah. I take Straight the pill, away. if everything is going to, I take the pill and I forget and I can keep it in whatever it is. Well, that's uh, wrong, right? Mm -hmm. That's not what anyone should do. If you need the medicine, obviously, I'm not anti-medicine. I'm actually obviously pro-medicine, right? Pro-medications when they are needed on the short term. But you need to focus and we'll talk this a little bit later on exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So um, to sum up a little bit, you to told us about your background. So basically you're focused on um, integrative medicine. Yes. And another important thing I've been uh, I'm from Alicante. I'm, I'm Spanish. I'm from Alicante. I was born here. When I was 32, I decided to travel abroad and I've been 10 years abroad. So mm -hmm. I've studied basically everything I've studied. I've studied abroad in um, international universities and actually my PhD is from an American uh, university. Mm -hmm. My master's as well, international universities. So my point is that I've been out. So I've, uh, my clients have like all brand backgrounds, all colors, all like everything. Languages, so, possible. Um, well, that's, yeah. I think that's a plus uh, for a client. If you know, if I know that the, the expert that is gonna focus on my situation or that's gonna give me some tips in for yeah. my health that has traveled a lot, uh, speak, and that's true. If he or she speaks several languages is that has like a widened view of the world. 
it gives yeah. you like more I would say peace of mind or like more confidence or trust. Um, so do you have several nationalities in your in your clients? Uh, right now, scope at the uh, moment? I think I've street. I mean, I'm not going to say all nationalities, no, but, but for sure, that's impossible. But <laughs> for sure, more than 10, 15. Uh, I don't know, just come to my mind right now. Uh, American, uh, Chinese, Korean, German, French, uh, I think from Europe, most Europe, uh, Polish, like basically most Europe, because when I was in Shanghai, Shanghai is a hub where you get people from all around all the over. world. Mm -hmm. So basically I have had clients from all around the world. One of my clients actually, well, I have some high level clients that here in Spain would be, oh, wow. Uh, the general manager of Coca-Cola in China was my client. No way. Yeah, yeah it was actually the general manager of Prada Did was you have my like client. Extra pressure for those type of clients. No, actually they are. That's no, that I don't care. No, I, no, 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 no. <laughs> actually, I mean, if the, no offense to anyone, but if you're in your own country, it's different. But when you're out, those people, I was hanging out with them. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's another when you are outside your country, even if you're a high level manager, you usually, you know, you, you mingle out. with basically mm -hmm. hang out with almost. I mean, there's also people there kind of elitist and they don't know, going to just but usually they are. Yeah, I mean, there's everything. Uh, I respect everything. They can do whatever with the mm -hmm. with the lives, but usually it's another approach. So they are just normal, normal people like you, like me. It's just yeah. and this is kind of off topic question, yeah. but um, is it hard for you if you have clients from such different countries, different places, different culture, different way of act or interact. Is it hard for you to adapt to the, you know, the, the, the code, the communication code of the clients? No, quite the opposite. At the end, we <laughs> I all go are straightforward. Anyway. Yeah, no, no. I mean, at the end is, I mean, my practice is all about the client is clients focus is not about, uh, you know, the, the symptoms or whatever is, yeah, the it's about, it's about you, mm -hmm. about what you like mm -hmm. and about what you like to achieve and the situation you are right now. So it's all about you. So at the end, I don't have any problem. Actually, I tell all my clients before I start working with me, I tell them when I start working with you, I start with a blank piece of paper. There's nothing that I'm going to mm -hmm. get from any folder and give you a anything. There's nothing. Obviously, oh, that's great. Not like, a, I don't know, like a resume that you need to fill in. And no, I mean, obviously, there's a few things, obviously. But what I mean is that when you come, it's like, oh, you have uh, this disease. Oh, OK, let me check my folder. Oh, you have diabetes. OK, you do this, this, this. Instructions. Yeah, instructions. Go. Oh, you have high uh, cholesterol. OK, you do this, this, this. Oh, you have this. So this is what traditional uh, medicine does is just you have a folder okay you have this okay you need to take this 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 and you have this other thing okay you need to take these are your levels so you need to do more mm -hmm. and come back in three months this is and i'm not criticizing anything i'm just explaining stating facts right i mm -hmm. just this is this is the reality you have this you do that that's all okay sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and that's why uh, sometimes it's useful or a good idea or why not to try an alternative or other or complementary methods such as uh, integrative medicine and today we wanted to focus on diabetes type 2 yep. um, if i'm not mistaken or wrong i think this is one of the chronic diseases you're focused on yeah okay. one of the main ones because is the um, so, okay, I'm going to mention something a little bit off topic. That's going to be fast. When I was young, like around 12, 13, mm -hmm. with the school, we went to like a retirement thing to think about, oh, when do you, what do you want to be when you're old and all the stuff? Wow. And I said, that's yeah, yeah. So that's cool. And what I said is, well, I'm not sure, but I would like to be the, the one just discovering the vaccine for AIDS, AIDS, for example, mm -hmm. right? At that point, with 13, that I, was ambitious. Eh? Yeah, I know. Well, well at that point, 50% was to help people. The other 50 was to be famous, to be honest. Uh, yeah, yeah, but that's good. <laughs> I mean, no good one can blame me. We are, we all have been teenagers, right? Right now, I and when I grew up, then I'm doing what I all my life I've been supposed to do. What I believe, which is helping people to actually overcome. And actually, there's mm -hmm. way more. I cannot tell you. Maybe 100, 200. Three, I don't know how many, maybe thousand times more people with type 2 diabetes than with AIDS, right? So, and this is something that keeps growing. So diabetes type 2 keeps growing and it is, is a disease that at the end leads to cardiovascular disease, to Alzheimer's, dementia, wow. and many others. And the reason 
um, is because I don't know the way of living, like food uh, practices, or yeah. maybe emotional, or it has so many factors. It has to do? many fact. I mean, the main one obviously is nutrition, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but there's many other factors. Stress is one of them. Lack of sleep is another one. So in uh, in today's society, there's a problem. There's high stress levels all the time. That's not good for diabetes, for blood glucose levels. Uh, lack of sleep and proper sleep, both in quality and quantity. Mm -hmm. Also, there's a lot of uh, sedentarism. That's also a problem. And, well, the lack of proper nutrition. Mm -hmm. That's so all this combined at the end. This is what this is the base of my work. The mm -hmm. base of my work is combining these pillars to actually, well, this and actually knowledge. So the base of my work is, well, is I work with these pillars but also is about teaching people. I want to teach people actually, and today is what we are going to do with mm -hmm. type 2 diabetes. I want my clients to know exactly what is what they have, why they have it, what they have done. Because some people say as well, oh, it's in my genes. All my family has. Exactly. I think you know. that's kind of um, easy or like, I wouldn't say victimism, but it's like a way that I, it's like lottery. I was born with that. I cannot do anything <clears throat> about it. Yeah. But I, Actually, type 2 has nothing to do with the genes, right? Mm, well, oh, okay. Yes. So let's start from the very beginning. What yeah. is actually diabetes type 2? Okay, diabetes type 2 is a disease where you have chronic high blood sugar levels. Okay. Okay? So this is, so in your blood, there's sugar and your body cannot bring it down. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's, that's the disease, right? But <laughs> that's basically the symptom, right? Okay. So... Let me put, I'm going to put an example so it's going to be easier, right? Okay. So the disease is you have chronic high blood sugar levels. And for you to understand is like putting, having sugar in our bloodstream uh, in a chronic uh, level, like high levels all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like putting sand in your, in the, in, in the pipes of your house or mm -hmm. putting sand in the, in the, in your car, in the gasoline, right? So it's going to, at some point it's going to break something. It's like get sand and rub it against your skin. Yeah, it doesn't go smooth or like... And imagine just, imagine just I want everyone to, hopefully everyone has been in the beach, so take like sand, okay, you grab it and you just do like this. You are like gonna scrubbing. Yeah, you're good... gonna scrub and you're gonna maybe, if you do it too hard, you're gonna maybe injure yourself a little bit. So imagine this in the blood vessels. Wow, because right? of the sugar. Because of the sugar, so imagine a piece of sugar just in, or a piece of sand, or in this case sugar, in your bloodstream. This is why people then, at some point, this is this develops chronically. This doesn't happen from one day to the other. This takes years to build up, but then. Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry to interrupt. No, and then we bring, and with this basically, uh, we reach to retinopathy, so people that get blind because there's a lot of small vessels in our in our eyes. So at the end. If there's sugar just grinding against all these vessels at the end, we are gonna lose our our Side. sight. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, there's uh, toes amputations, feet amputation, uh, feet amputation, leg amputations. Wow. Because wow. and this is a real thing. I'm not making this up, and it's so sad. Obviously, this when everyone gets out of control, and it's so sad to me because people, if from the beginning, there's at some point maybe maybe too late, right? Mm -hmm. So there's, I mean, there's never too late until you are dead but obviously <laughs> the earlier you make changes right the earlier you are going to be able to get better and reverse certain things because it's proven it's science-based actually uh i don't like anyone to take my word on anyone words for granted mm -hmm. just check it out mm -hmm. in on google right google has basically all the answers right mm -hmm. maybe sometimes not all the correct answers but this is easy check is it possible to reverse type 2 diabetes right as simple as that the result you can do it right now if you would like to but the result is going to be somewhere from 55 to 65 percent of the people could reverse type 2 diabetes and from the ones that don't reverse them it reverse it it can actually they can lower their blood sugar levels maybe you cannot reverse it because you've been with it for many years now it may it may be too late yeah, but so you can lessen a little bit yeah, the situation. It's exactly. Not, it's, not, it's not like eliminate 100% the diabetes yeah. type 2 from your body. But it's true. I'm, I mean, I'm so curious about this case because it, it's like um, a very, um, a relative of mine, a very yeah. close uh, case has diabetes type 2. Mm -hmm. And actually he lost part of his sight. It was one of the symptoms. Yeah. But then um, I also heard from you that it's not like insulin. 
Mm-mm. in a long term is yeah. not that good and yep. he's having he's having insulin every day or like like on a daily basis, daily basis and i'm afraid it's going to be for life it and probably will and that's the problem because now i'm going to explain you okay i'm not going to give you the answer i'm going to do something much better Ooh, yeah okay. i'm going to explain you why this happens and mm-hmm. then i'm going to tell you what could you could do okay without mm-hmm. telling you the answer right mm-hmm. i'm not going to tell you what you should do if it was you I'm gonna tell you what is happening. This is what I do in my job. It's actually more interesting, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, the root cause of, and before this, I'm gonna make another simple example. Imagine that you come to my uh, office, right? And you tell me, oh, uh, Alejandro, listen, I just go to the beach and every time I go, I just get burned. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why, right? I mean, we all know why, but let's assume we don't know. We don't know, okay. When you come, it's like, oh, no problem. Listen, I have this good cream, let's say aloe vera or some intensive cream, whatever. You, Whenever you get burned, you put this and it's going to relieve the, the burn, right? But then I don't tell you that the fact that you are going to the beach is making this harm, right? So what you're going to do? Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, now I have a nice cream, so actually now I can stay longer in the beach mm. because I have this cream whenever I get red. Right, I'm gonna put this cream and the redness is gonna, you know, in one or two days it's gonna be off. So then I can actually, you are gonna feel that, oh, now I have this cream, not sunscreen, I'm, I'm talking about aloe vera, right? And then you can go to the beach more. This mm-hmm. is what usually happens with people injecting insulin or taking medicine. Oh, now I can do more of the stuff because I can keep doing the same because now my blood sugar I is lower. I can have two pieces of chocolate. Exactly, Instead now I can actually one. eat more. And with insulin, it gets worse because actually you need to eat the thing that is getting you sick because you are taking insulin, right? Like injections of insulin. Mm. Because if you take insulin, it's to bring your blood sugar down. So now you actually need to eat carbs. Otherwise, you are going to have hypoglycemia. Which is the other way, like the contrary effect. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So okay. that's the problem. But anyway, otherwise, I could be talking for hours about this, but I'm going to focus. Okay, yeah, so let's re- the root cause of diabetes type 2 is insulin resistance. Okay, high blood glucose is the symptom. It's like you go to the sun and you get without sunscreen and you get red skin, Mm -hmm. right? That's the symptom. The root cause is insulin resistance. Now, what's the next question? Um, how can we... No, no. but you know what insulin resistance is? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, what is insulin resistance? That's the next question, right? It's okay, <laughs> good. Now, what the hell is insulin resistance, yeah, right? I, I can assume it's, yeah, you res- you have... Yeah, but yeah, what is it? Okay. <laughs> what okay. is it? Yeah, what is it? Okay. So, whenever for this, we need to understand actually one thing before is mm-hmm. what the hell is insulin? Do you know what insulin is? No, I would say like sugar, but I have no idea. Okay, perfect. So, <laughs> so you see, we need to go, you one know, we need back. to backtrack yeah. to then move forward, right? Mm-hmm. So this is what I do basically. So a session with me for you understand, and I'm going to do like a little parenthesis, uh, working with me is a three months program, right? Okay. So I don't do mm-hmm. 10 minutes consultation. You come, no, no, it's a, three Three months months. program well actually 12 week program and the first session that we are going to have is three hours Mm. okay exhausting Uh, yeah it's quite (laughs) in tomorrow i have uh, a client actually today i have well the first session is three hours the second session which is the next week is two hours and then the rest of the sessions on weeks four eight uh four six eight and twelve these are one hour sessions so it's like normal length sessions but the first one i need to explain a lot of things people big people don't know that and this Mm. is super important so with that said, because if not, people will say, how the hell he's going to explain all this in 10, 15 minutes? No, no, it's no, like no, no. three hours, right? So taking notes. Yeah, just taking notes. That's important. <laughs> so let's go back. So insulin, what insulin does, insulin is necessary. So our body works like a computer, right? In a computer, you put a code, something happens and something else. So mm-hmm. you trigger this and something happens. Exactly. If I do this, this happens. If I do that, this happens. Consequences, right? I activate right? And, or trigger. We and go then... to the sun, we trigger to get a little bit darker skin. The melanina, the, yes. so, melanine to work. But then it may happen that you are like super light skin, mm-hmm. so you get red faster and you can be darker skin, so you don't get. So we need to understand that we don't see our metabolism, but our metabolism is the same. We have different metabolism, say like we have different eye color or different skin. And the, the example of, the, of okay. the skin is important. Why? Because there are more people that they are more uh, susceptible to, uh, that's a word? 
Uh, I would say um, I, I will find out. The, yeah. the one you're looking <laughs> I think for. everyone will like a, a, I would say eligible, but it's not eligible. No, it's not. Well, anyway, it's like uh, <laughs> you are more um, uh, what's the word? Sensitive. That's the word. Okay. Sensitive to sugar than other people, right? Some people work better with more carbohydrates than others. My my body personally works. I work better. My metabolism with high levels of carbohydrates than with lower levels. Right? This is the equivalent of having a darker skin, go to the beach and don't get burned. And how do you find out how your mot well, metabolism best uh, Well, this takes a little bit of time. There's no one test that you can do. Okay. I mean, usually... Yeah, the re yeah, no, no, there's no perfect. one test. I mean, usually when I see someone, you can kind of tell. But then it's about also a little bit trial and error. This is on, one of the things I love my work because sometimes, I mean, most of the time it's this, but some of this, okay, let's go this path. It's more like a, yeah. like a path. Let's a go this test. path and then we keep narrowing, right? Because we need to try. Let's try this. I mean, obviously, if the path when you come is here, then we're narrowing like 80%. Hmm. But still, we have a 20% that we need to keep narrowing. And this is a work that we are going to do together regarding your also whatever you like because mm -hmm. maybe the rule says that you need to eat whatever certain foods but it happens that you don't like some of them i hate it exactly so we need to work with what you like otherwise you're not going to be able to do it long term okay okay so Let, let's go back let's to go back to insulin insulin. So, so insulin basically what insulin does is when you eat something that contains sugar and that's carbohydrates as well doesn't have to be only like a pancake or a croissant it's just anything containing carbohydrates also fruits right is gonna raise your sugar levels I, no, i'm not gonna talk about health or no health uh, healthy foods i'm gonna talk in general in general whatever contains sugar right or carbohydrates is gonna raise your glucose levels mm -hmm. right then when these glucose levels rise this is a sign for our body to oh you need to burn that no, energy? No, 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 no. You need no. to okay. you First need level. to lower because high levels of high high levels of blood sugar mm -hmm. are uh, poison. I, I like poisonous for for our, for us, right? Okay, it's it's not healthy. Let's okay. say it's not healthy, right? It's not okay. poison, but it's definitely not healthy. It can cause a lot of problems. So the body has a hormone. Insulin is a hormone that goes up whenever your blue, your blood glucose is high. The body is like oh. We need, I need to release something to bring this glucose down. Okay. So this is insulin. It's a hormone that when balances. it's out, balances, it brings down the glucose. How it does it is important. So this is something I'm going to reveal here. Well, it's not a big secret, but I'm going to uh, reveal something that basically none of my clients know, like maybe just one out of 10 or more, one out of 20 has it right. So the body stores Okay, let me ask you, maybe you don't you know this. Where the body stores the glucose? Because I told you so in the pancreas. No, no, not in the pancreas. Damn it. No, um, the pancreas releases insulin. Exactly. I'm mixing things. Yeah, you know but, what it yeah. is like, yeah, that rings the bell, but it's not quite Almost, yeah. that accurate. Yeah. Uh, where the glucose is stored. Uh, glucose is energy. It's like the battery of, of a phone. Yeah. I don't have the phone with me, know, but it's in, like in the, the internal blood, battery. In the no. brain. <laughs> no, actually quite the opposite. No. Okay. So the answer, yes. you said you are one of 20. So no, you are like 19 out of 20. So it's normal, right? We haven't been taught this and it's quite easy. Our muscles. Okay. Every single of our muscle is a deposit of carbohydrates of sugar. It's called glycogen when it's stored. You don't have ah. to remember this word. You just need to remember that. Can I have your phone one second? Yes. Okay. So if I do this, it's easy. Your phone, all of your phones has a battery inside, right? This is where the phone stores energy. So your body, all your muscles is exactly the same, is where our body stores energy in form of glycogen, which is the store form of sugar. Okay. Right? Got okay. it. Got it. Now, yes. what insulin does mm -hmm. is actually is like a key that opens the muscle is a door right imagine our uh, our uh, muscle is a storage room okay right mm -hmm. yeah now when sugar goes up it's like you have a lot of packages here we're in the radio so it's like oh i have a lot of packages here mm -hmm. amazon has come great all my packages are here but now i need to open the door birthday present okay yeah so you so. need to open the door because the door is closed mm -hmm. so in order to bring all the packages in so that means all the sugar what you need to do let the insulin come to open the door. 
No. Yes, yeah, so you need the insulin is the key. The key. The, the insulin is the key ah. that opens the door. Well, the, the pancreas should release the insulin. The to yeah, go. of course. So the pancreas is going to release the insulin. And then, so let's say you are the insulin and the pancreas is someone else that gives you the key and it's okay, you can open I came the, here, I opened the yeah. door and then I And then the sugar can come in. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is what insulin does. So to recap, insulin is basically <laughs> a key. Yes. Yeah? Uh -huh. That opens the door of our muscles to bring the sugar that is in our blood inside the muscles. Yeah. Okay. But for a storage purpose or for to get energy? For storage, storage, storage. And then once it's stored, when then, it's you can needed, use it. then you can then use it. Then you can use it. All yeah. right. Yep. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. So now. So that's the, the regular scenario when everyone's that's healthy. That's regular scenario that happens when you are healthy. So this is what mm -hmm. happens with sugar. Hey, no problem. Insulin is going to go up. Opens, it's like a key, insulin, opens the muscle, you put the sugar in, no problem. Yeah? <laughs> easy? Perfect. I think, yes. I think it's easy. I'm yes. Here. Okay. 100%. Now, insulin, our body, and now I'm going to stop here a second. What happens uh, when there's a person that takes uh, sleeping pills for a long time? What do usually happen? That the pills... Either you have no effect of the pills mm -hmm. and you need an extra dose. Okay. Or, mm, yeah, yeah that, basically. That's, mm. that's the same with alcohol. You start drinking at the beginning, the same with drugs. Every time yeah. you need more and more and more because mm -hmm. the body gets used to it. Correct. With insulin, it's exactly the same. If you have too much all the time, mm. right? So that means if you have high levels of insulin all the time, our body at some point is gonna get what is called insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna get, let's put in our words, it's gonna get used to these sleeping pills or this alcohol, whatever, it's gonna get used to it. And then is you need more to do the same effect. Okay, so uh, we can also reach a point where we, where our insulin cannot even open the doors. Bravo, there you man, go. I'm focusing <laughs> now. Okay. There you go, you see, but I cannot explain you this if I cannot backtrack, if I don't tell you, if you don't know, where, not just what insulin does, if you don't know where the, the sugar goes, yeah. so mm -hmm. we need to, you see, we need to backtrack a few steps to then go forward and then once you understand, you're not, you may forget about glycogen, but you will never forget about what I'm teaching you because mm -hmm. it's, a, it's that simple, right? So now what happens is when you have chronic high levels of insulin, that means insulin levels high, high all the time, now the question is, why insulin levels are high all the time? Well, because sugar levels are high all the time. All the so time. that means you're eating five meals a day because someone said that you need to eat five, six or whatever meals a day. Some of them contain carbs or you are all day drinking colas, sodas, whatever that like fast food mm -hmm. and chips and everything has trans fats, sugar is really easy to eat sugar nowadays in every single thing, right? Yeah, correct. So what happens is your insulin is present always all the time. So at some point your body is, okay, enough is enough. I have too much, now I'm gonna become resistant. So now you need more insulin to do the same job. It's like a key that you, you use too much and now it's not working. This is a little bit rusty. It's a still. little bit rusty. So this is what happens. At the end gets more rusty and more rusty. And what happens is the body needs to produce more insulin. This is like taking more sleeping pills for the same, to reach the same level now you need three pills i'm making this up you need three when before just with one you had the effect right? okay Makes sense, right mm -hmm. yeah so what happens is at some point in after many years you keep rising this and at some point is oh we need to take some drugs okay the first drugs is usually to get the muscles a little bit more sensitive but at some point you need to inject that when nothing works you need to inject more and now here is the question I already told you that the main problem of diabetes type 2 is that you have too much insulin, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And this too much insulin causes insulin resistance, mm -hmm. yes? And then someone comes and tells you, oh, now you need to inject exogenous insulin because the insulin that you are producing is not enough. My question is, do that make sense? What, what the, no, what? it does not. It doesn't. Because right. if you right. have like an excess or like an overdose of insulin in your body, it makes no sense that you are taking like injections or vaccines of insulin. And that's, yeah. Yeah. and that's the process that the person I'm talking about, the case, is, is following. And then what is going to happen is you need, it's going to happen the same because you already know it's going to, you will need to increase the dose because the body is going to get more. So you are making the problem long term you're making the problem worse. So what would happen like if we quit 
making these injections or these vaccinations of insulin and we just have well, like a, a healthy vaccine, but yeah, like I like understand. A, yes, it's just an injection. A vaccine is a different thing. Okay. Exactly. First of all, I do not recommend anyone to stop taking insulin or injecting insulin. That's the first thing. Okay, that I do not no recommend anyone. No Oh, okay, I'm gonna stop. No, 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 do not stop. The only one that could tell you to stop is your physician, your family doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the only one. I mean, you can do whatever you want, obviously. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's our body, our body, our choice. But the only one that should tell you to stop taking insulin is your family doctor. Okay? Okay. That, with that Got being it. clear. Yes. What I recommend my clients to do is, okay, first I explain what I've just explained here, mm -hmm. right? Now that we know this is like, oh, Alejandro, okay, this is the problem. Now I need, we need to start making changes in your lifestyle mm -hmm. because there's something I haven't told you that insulin also, there's another way that our glucose can go to our muscles. There's two ways. The normal one, let's say the, the standard one is via insulin, but there's another one. And I, I would say, I don't think no one's know this. Well, if you're a doctor, you're a specialized on diabetes type two, they know, uh, but if not, probably you don't know. There's another way, which is doing exercise. Mm -hmm. Doing a strength training is gonna, is doing exercise is like a key. It's like an spur key or a master key that you have that you can also open this door. Well, actually, exercise and sport is it good for almost good, good everything. For everything. Yeah, it's good for everything. So that's the master key there. So that's the master key, right? So you, mm. that doesn't mean that you need to be doing exercise every day, one hour, uh, all days. I don't even do that. I work out like two hours a week, something like that. I walk a lot. I walk every day. Mm -hmm. I do my seven, eight thousand steps, sometimes more. But as long as I do seven, seven and a half, I'm good. This is what research shows. It's not 10,000, it's a little bit less. That's good. Which good is to good know. to know, right? I totally tell my clients, as long as you are doing 6,000, you're good. If mm -hmm. you can reach seven, it will be better. But as long as you no don't stress. have to reach, yeah, no, no stress. No stress. No extra stress pressure. Well. We have already enough mm -hmm. pressure to... Ex little by little, step by step, right? So that's basically it. So what we need to do is we need to start backtracking, right? It's like, okay, so what are the small things that I can do every day? to get more insulin sensitive. That's the goal, mm -hmm. to get more insulin sensitive because when, what will happen is with a little bit of time, in a few weeks time, what will happen is your blood sugar levels will drop. Mm -hmm. And then you will go to your physician, to your family doctor, and you, oh, and you do a blood test. Oh, uh, your blood sugar is, oh, you now may take a little bit less dose. This is something that the doctor will tell you, not me, not yourself, the doctor, right? Okay. And then you keep lowering and at some point is, oh, I don't need insulin anymore because my muscles are already my body, not just the muscles. I mean, all the body can be basically insulin resistance, not that not just the muscles, the liver as well and many other organs. But we are going to focus here on the muscles because are the one taking this glucose, right? Okay. So it's that simple. I mean, there's no more. I mean, is the problem now is, okay, what are the things that we need to do? right to get more sensitive but basically i've just summarized what is that type 2 diabetes and what is what we can do and why uh, and this is peer research i mean it's, it, this is not my opinion i'm talking about research i'm talking about basic metabolism and this is what happens and facts there are facts but there's a problem also if you have many years okay i'm 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 talking here in a general okay we don't have much time I mean, we have a little bit but not much time i could be talking this for hours and be super specific so in order for you to understand it to make it really broad and and, and do examples like this but uh, the point is there's a, a point imagine that you are driving your car always in turbo mode right your turbo at some point probably the engine is gonna explode it's gonna explode <laughs> so yeah. this is something obviously your pancreas is not gonna explode but the beta cells of your pancreas which are the ones that produce insulin mm. may die of exhaustion and just this is not the proper term but just okay right because mm. the pancreas is the one you said pancreas before is the one producing uh, producing releasing the insulin, the insulin right but if is this uh, is always a stress at some point the beta cells, which are the cells inside the pancreas that are producing the insulin, may die. Mm -hmm. If they die, now they are working on is the, to reverse this death. Exactly, but, that was my question. Is but that that's, but no, what we are doing here is not reversing the death. We are work, my work is, this is like, I don't think latest research, I don't think they are working on this, but I think they haven't found the way yet. Mm -hmm. If I'm not wrong, I'm pretty sure they haven't. I cannot assure it, but I'm pretty much sure that not yet, they are working on that. But anyway, 
My point is, if we have tools today, we have the knowledge to actually reverse it if we take it in the early stages. Mm -hmm. By the early stages, maybe you have, you can be pre-diabetic. You know, if you're, it's not like you, one day you wake up, yesterday you had normal high blood glucose and the next day, oh, it's like becoming obese. You don't so wake up one day and it's like, oh shit. What I'm, happened? I'm, I'm what 50 ha kilos <laughs> overweight, right? This doesn't happen. This is little by little, right? One year is three, four kilos, then it's, and you keep, and after 10 years, it's like five kilos a year, in 10 years, it's 50 kilos, for okay. example. Right? Okay, and so my question was going back to the, when we were talking about what, what, can, what can we do, like changing our life habits, doing exercise, like reduce maybe the, the, um, the, the amount of uh, sugar and carbohydrates that mm -hmm. we eat. Let's say that we have quit because the doctor told us to quit insulin. And then what do, can we have like a boomerang effect if we ever had like a chocolate or something sweet? It's gonna be so mm. risky that we need to... Okay, some people say if you are, is like uh, diabetics, they treat somehow diabetics like, like alcoholics. If you've been diabetic once, you may be exactly. one, but... Exactly, exactly. Well, I wouldn't say, it, I wouldn't go that far. Mm -hmm. It's just what happens, and this is why I like to put a lot of simple examples. What happens is uh, for blood glucose is like, a, uh, I'm gonna bring back the example of the sun, right? If you're okay. a super white person, mm -hmm. well, you're gonna be always white. You were born being white, so you are more sensitive to the sun. You need to use more protection. Better, worse, well, is what it is. Is what it is, is yeah. what, right? But, and for blood glucose, it's the same. You are more sensitive to glucose, so you need to take a little bit extra care. But it's exactly the same with the sun. If you are born, like, really, uh, Light oh, skin, yeah. you learn to protect yourself because you know what may happen. This is the same. It's not, so you need to change, but that doesn't mean once you are sensitive again, mm -hmm. you can eat chocolate, you can eat actually whatever you e want. Exactly, that was my question, because if you are sensitive to sun or if you have white skin, you get, um, you can get burned. Yeah. Okay, it, it aches, like it's hard like a yeah. couple of days and then that's all. If you were diabetes too, yeah. you get recovered and then you have like an extra dose of sugar. Can you, I don't know, spend some days and that will be fine or yeah. you will become no, again No, 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 again, this is like, okay, I want hmm. you to think of diabetes type 2 just to put the same example as losing weight and regaining the, the, the weight back, mm. right? Okay, Imagine I see what you mean. It's yeah. not gonna be straight It's not away. gonna be like, it's not like you eat chocolate, oh shit, no. <laughs> I it's screwed not, it up no, again. No, 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 it's not like that. Okay. It's just, it develops with weeks or even months, okay. right? But you need to be extra careful. It's like having this light skin. Well, you weren't born like this, you need to be a little bit extra careful. But this is how we are born. In my case, I always say, well, I don't have the best genetics. Some people will say, oh, you have great genetics. You can eat a lot and not get fat. Well, that's not reality. I move a lot, etc. <laughs> but for me, it's really extremely hard to gain muscle. Really hard, right? Whatever muscle I have right now, because I've been working since I'm 16, I'm 42. Well, I'm gonna be about to be 42 next month. So, I mean, work, whatever I have, and it's not much, is because I'm working for it. And I could say, oh, I have bad luck with that. Well, I could say that, and it's a fact. I, I, I was not the luckiest whenever developing muscle, or growing muscle. To be a right? croissant. To be, not just a croissant, but being easy. Right, it's, make, it's really hard for me, but hey, this is what I got, so in exchange, I have all the things. I'm leaner, it's easier for me to have my abs. I have actually abs like 24, all, all year around, right? I don't do much exercise, I mean, I do and I take care and I eat healthy, right? It's not like I, I have a special genetics, but for me, it's easier, right? But again, it's hard for me, and I was actually quite frustrated for part of my life. It's like, well, this guy goes to the gym in one month and is my cousin, and I have told him. If he's listening to this, hello, he's like, cousin. hello. <laughs> uh, so I told him in three months, he gets more muscle than me in one entire year. Is that fair? Well, well, life is not fair. Life is not, it's, it's what it is. You, I mean, you need uh, to play the game with the cards that you got, right? Exactly. You can so, exchange some of them or so swap. Coming back to the sugar is the same. Well, you need to just be careful, but that doesn't mean if you're okay, I actually recommend people don't quit at all. I mean, it's good that once in a while you have your croissants, you have, and some of my, most of my colleagues know when there's, when I go to an event and there's the only, my only uh, weakness, let's say in food, mm -hmm. one of the few is uh, small chocolate croissants, right? Okay. Whenever I go to an event, I may, I may eat small ones. I may eat 10, 12, 15. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not, and, <laughs> I'm, stop, like. and I'm not kidding. 
right? But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I do this once in two weeks, three weeks, one month. So nothing is gonna happen. I'm gonna put the reverse. Imagine that a morbidly obese person, one day, one meal, eats a salad. And then comes back to whatever no. he's doing. Do you think this salad is gonna do something? I mean, it's gonna be okay, better than nothing, no, better than not. another 10 burgers. But so for me, it's the same. Actually, my body at some point is gonna say, oh, thank you. We have something to yeah, work we on. Have, we have <laughs> extra sugar today. Let's, we have, I, and I feel I have more energy to work out. But that happens once. Right, and people see me like, oh, Alice, you are so lucky. You are kind of disgusting, you know, because you can eat this. Is like, well, what you it's don't not see every day. What yeah. you don't see is that I do, obviously don't do this every day. Mm. While you every day maybe eating pasta and bread and da da da, and, and I don't do that every day for a few meals. I don't do that, but then you only see me because you are my colleague and we only mm -hmm. meet in these meetings, mm -hmm. and you think that you may think that I'm eating this every day. So it's about being consistent so once a week do whatever you want i mean if you are sick or you have diabetes type 2 is like having a bruise in a, any part of the body and putting alcohol well better you heal yourself and then you can put alcohol otherwise you're going to suffer or it's going to be painful the same exactly. with diabetes type 2 exactly. so first we need to reverse so my point and the essence just to summarize this is that is it possible in more than half of the cases to reverse type 2 diabetes sure. right if you've been the earlier the better. Research shows that if it's been less than five years that you are having high blood sugar or you are diabetes type mm -hmm. 2, the, you can up to, I think research shows is like up to, you have 70 to 80% chances to reverse that. That's well, that's a good really percentage. Good odds, exactly. Right? If it's more than five years to fa for from five to 10 years, um, it's around 55, 60%. Mm -hmm. And if it's more than 10 years, will be. 20, 30 percent. Don't, don't. I mean, I'm not super precise with this. I have a lot of numbers in my head, but just to make it average, like average is mm -hmm. like less than five years, 75 to 80 percent. Ten year, uh, five to ten years, let's say 50, 55, and more than ten years, I would say around 30. But still, there's chances, right? And worst case scenario, you are gonna get better. I mean. I guarantee, and I can guarantee this because this is like common sense, I'm not risking too much here. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that's I what I was going to tell you. that anyone working with me, right, or with any physician that is specialized on, on what I'm specialized, is going to get better blood glucose readings, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And is going to have, is going to reduce their weight and is going to live a healthier and life is gonna live better. Is gonna have more energy. Sleep better. This and is we'll something that definitely better. And we'll feel that. So this is guaranteed. Obviously, you need to do something. I'm not gonna ask you for that much. I tell this to every single client before even we commit to do this program together because this is a both way commitment, right? Uh, you, I'm not gonna ask you to go to the gym every day, but I will highly recommend you to go just once. One. Do mm -hmm. you think it's too difficult to it's ask people so going once doable. to I the mean, gym no, and no, no, do no. 6,000 steps a day? This is what I ask for physical activity, and I'm not kidding. Actually, one of my clients, the last one that finished the diabetes type 2 program, will reverse his diabetes type 2. He was in uh, 150. His blood glucose mm -hmm. levels were 150. Wow, and now? In 10 weeks. And this is uh, a colleague actually from BNI, so it's a person, it's a real person, and we, we need to do the testimonial, but still. Mm -hmm. um, 10 weeks took us to bring it down to 93. Wow. Okay, so from being type 2 diabetic, you are about 120, yeah. you are considered diabetic type 2. This uh, person was 150, mm -hmm. right? Below 100, you are not diabetic anymore. So he was, if this is the level, he was here and now he's here. 10 weeks and he did not do exercise. I'm not bragging about this. Actually, I asked him to do at least once. He didn't have time, whatever, right? So if he would have done exercise instead of 10 weeks, probably in eight weeks, Less. we could have reverse diabetes. But still, hey, you don't do exercise, it's gonna take a little bit longer, but still we can arrive there. So the result below 100, you're not considered anymore no. diabetes type two. And this is a fact, I mean, it's not, uh, this is, I mean, this is- You the, didn't make it up, like- No, 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 up. this is, I mean, is uh, the good thing about this is I cannot, me or anyone can make things up because this is like two plus two equals four. I mean, mm -hmm. below 100, you are not diabetic. You need to be careful, obviously. And I told my client, hey, we finished the program, you are below, but you need to keep what you are doing, right? But this is the, the good thing about the program that I do 
is that is personalized to you and is focused on habits, mm -hmm. daily habits that my goal is, I tell this to all my clients, is my goal is that you don't hire any other person do it, doing yeah. integrative medicine or nutrition or anything regarding nutrition or lifestyle for the rest of your life. So business wise, I don't have probably the best business ever because I cannot keep, oh, I have now 10 clients, next year I'm gonna have 20. No, I have 10 clients today and tomorrow if I don't get new clients, it will be zero, mm -hmm. right? Because that's my goal and I tell this to everyone. Obviously, I get always more clients, why? Because the, if you see- The current world, I mean. Eh. Why? Because word of mouth. If you see that I've reversed your diabetes tattoo, you're gonna tell all your friends, hey, I've been in medication and doing this like for many years and in 10 weeks, this person, this professional has reverse my diabetes and I'm super happy doing, I've lost, he lost actually 10 kilos. Mm -hmm. He's a 52 years old uh, man. He's an executive person and with not much time, he's super busy. This is the reason he did not exercise, but he did walk at least an average of seven to 8,000 steps a day. Even if I okay. told him, you know what I mean? So, so quick recap, um, as always, uh, sport, it helps as for everything in our daily life Moving. and not being sedentary is more important than going to the ex keep, to, than going to the gym keep moving and also as always healthy diet it helps it will yes. depend on your situation and your metabolism and whatever and you do do not and that's my recommendation do not do diets because diets is proven you can check it out as well mm -hmm. Do diets work long term? I can tell you the answer. And the, no, the internet. The answer no, is no. The answer is 80 to 95 percent of the people will fail, will recover their weight long term, and that's science, that's facts, right? So at the end, my goal is to, and I just need half a minute here. The goal is to teach you to how you can change, adapt it to you, small things. And for example, and that's the last example I will put. A client of mine, this was a good friend of mine, well, still a good friend, now even better for what I'm about to say. When we met after I've been, I, I came back to Spain in May, right? And he was like extremely overweight. She was like a thin woman. When I met her, she was 30, right? Okay. She needed to lose, she was almost, well, I, 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 didn't, I never knew the weight, so I can say it in my estimation is more than 100 kilos, right? Right now, is, uh, she's lost 22, 23 kilos. No medication, nothing, just small, but this has taken six months. In eight weeks, no, 12 weeks, she lost 15 kilos. We finished the program, I finished the program with her in Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. And you may say, before Christmas, so you may say, oh, wow, in Christmas, maybe she recovered the weight. No, actually, she has kept all the habits I, I haven't told with her besides, hey, how you're doing? That's also the program finished. She has lost, and now I have the picture I will show you. Yes. I have my phone there. After. It's absolutely amazing i have actually i have uh, her testimonial in my website so it's like another person she's like feels and looks 10 years younger and this is actually the key for success whatever you do do long term long term alejandro wow thank yeah. you thank you very much where can we find you alejandro larrea Doctora in English, doctoralejandrolarrea.com mm -hmm. and then you have also testimonials uh, and everything. So doctoralejandrolarrea.com. And as always, we will include the website in the podcast in the video notes. And it's been a pleasure. I hope you adapt or you contact Alejandro or you consider uh, maybe uh, changing some habits in your life. And, and as always, we're always happy to spread knowledge and to spread good life or a good lifestyle health is uh, so i was in an event the other <laughs> day and they said source. there's no plan b for health so i love that because being healthy is really the best it's thing that we can have for our for our life correct it's Absolutely. the key to happiness so yeah. um and again thank you alejandro for coming to My welcome home and the rest of you i'll see you next week have fun and please do healthy habits. <laughs> bye bye. Ciao, ciao, ciao.